I was diagnosed with stage three breast cancer on my left side on August 17th, 2012. I was so scared, especially because um, at the time, my youngest was only three months old. So I think the first thing that goes through anybody's mind is, oh my gosh, I'm gonna die of cancer. How can this be? I'm only 40. What am I gonna tell my daughter, who was 10 at the time? And um, I just couldn't believe it was happening to me. Breast cancer. It's a disease that affects one out of nine women. And while treatment for breast cancer has expanded rapidly, there is one therapy now emerging that holds the greatest promise. It's called immunorestoration, and it came about through a recurring theme, the power of one. Led by University of Pennsylvania surgeon, Dr. Brian Cernicki, the team at the Renner Rowan Breast Center is working to develop a vaccine that they believe can one day eradicate breast cancer. The patient has their own power to heal themselves. We're just taking a few of their cells and tickling them in a different direction and they're going back in their body and they're doing what they're instructed to do. We're taking one patient, we're identifying what's abnormal in their one tumor, we're taking their single immune system and teaching it to kill that tumor, and that's really the power of one. We go through a process called apheresis, where they take out our white blood cells, and then they reteach our white blood cells before they inject them back in through the vaccine to fight any lingering or new cancer cells. The vaccine, I, I really didn't have any side effects. Um, it was just a little needle. Um, it beats having chemotherapy and radiation. This was a non-toxic process. It's all natural, and especially since it was with my white blood cells. Uh, it was my vaccine, just for me. That's the power of this exciting new strategy that Pennies in Action is funding. We treat each patient individually and develop the specific drug that will work specifically in her own body. Because breast cancer cells are much more like normal tissue than bacteria, um, our immune systems don't commonly react to them as strongly. And I think the real key to Dr. Chernicki's advances has been to figure a strategy to stimulate the immune system so that it recognizes the breast cancers as foreign and then generates a strong immune response to try to kill the cells. The key to immunorestoration therapy lies on a tiny marker on each cancer cell called the HER2 receptor. When each patient's immune system is trained to recognize this specific marker on the cancer cells, the good cells can then slow down their spread and even eliminate them from the body. A lot of these same proteins that we are using that are driving cancers that we're detecting and we're making vaccines to drive lung cancers and bladder cancer and prostate cancer and brain tumors and so all the solid tumors the ones that are in most organs as opposed to the blood tumors they're going to be targets for these vaccines it's just a matter of time once we work it out they're going to fall like dominoes The enormous cost associated with Dr. Cernicki's work is one reason why such a promising treatment to overcoming breast cancer is now needed more than ever. That's where Pennies in Action comes in. I remember the first patient that actually got the vaccine for money that we raised. I thought, oh my God, there's just nothing like this. You know, when you can save one life, I mean, what more is, you know, what is bigger than that? When Ushi Kessler began Pennies in Action in 2007, her goal was to create a transparent fundraising campaign dedicated to eliminating breast cancer. Now, with over $1 million in donations, Ushi sees that her work with Pennies in Action is reaching a critical juncture. On our website, we get now um, people writing. They want to get into the trial. Please help us to get into the trial even if it's other cancers, please let us know when it's there. I mean, and the reason I know about it, because we have to fund it. We have to raise $30,000 for each 
patient that wants the trial, plus all the stuff in the lab. We have patients calling all the time from all over the country to try to get into this. And it's actually very difficult to actually fit them in because some of them don't have a lot of time to wait. With over 230,000 new cases of breast cancer each year in the United States, the situation could easily be considered overwhelming. But at Pennies in Action, our work is guided by the power of one. The power of one means, you know, if, if each and every one of us just donated a small amount for the cause, you know, so many others could benefit from this vaccine. I just think that we need to keep funding this very important research so that everybody is able to receive it. To think that we started asking for pennies back in 2007 to where we are now and the amount of money that we've been able to raise and support Dr. Zernicki is, is, is phenomenal. But we need many, many more dollars. You can be part of this historic advancement towards curing and even preventing breast cancer a trend that medical science will look back on one day as the breakthrough cure. One vaccine, one person, one cure. We only have one life. The power of one. The power of one. The time is now to show your support by donating to Ushi Kessler's Pennies in Action. For more information, go to penniesinaction.org. <laughs>